Hey guys, Smash Bro here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get Minecraft shaders. So, first of all, um, to show you that this is 100% real, I'm going to go into Cortana. What? Okay, percent app data percent. I guess. Okay, yeah, percent app data percent. I'm gonna go into my dot Minecraft. I'm gonna take dot Minecraft out. Just to prove that I am doing this 100% complete. Okay, and then you're gonna open your Minecraft launcher. This this launcher is the one I use because uh, the original, the newer Minecraft launcher doesn't work for me, but it'll work just the same. And so you're gonna you're gonna log in. Um, since I took out Since I took out to my dot Minecraft, I have to do this. Just log in with your Minecraft account. Edit profile, and then the version that you want Optifine for, or you want your shaders for. Um, you're gonna do that, and you're gonna download that version of Minecraft by hit by hitting play. If the version is already downloaded and it's the one you play on all the time, then you can go ahead and do that. And so after this just loads, after this loads, you're gonna, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. You're gonna go to your Chrome, and go to optifine.net, just optifine.net, go to downloads, and then the version of Minecraft you want. For me, I'm doing 1.12.2. Uh, I'm gonna, you're gonna d do that, download Optifine, it's gonna say, this file can harm your computer, it can't, it's just that Google Chrome does not recognize the .jar file, um, so, you're gonna get it, and then, it's gonna have this, and there you go, Minecraft, just launched, there, okay, I'm gonna close it out for now, and you're gonna see your Optifine 1.12.2.jar, you're gonna open that up, you do not have to put it on your desktop or anything, you just open it up and click install. Optifine is successfully installed. So now you're going to go into Minecraft. And then you're going to hit, you're going to see your profile. There's an Optifine profile. And then you're going to, you can go to edit profile, release 1.12.2 dash Optifine underscore HD underscore U underscore C9. And it'll be the version that you downloaded it for. And then you're going to hit play just to download it and make sure it's working and then it should launch up and I'm gonna go, I don't know if this will record it in full screen or not but yeah, let me test it out and see if it does you're gonna go here, hit options video settings and you should see a new option here called shaders hang on a second, let me turn it down my master volume okay you're just gonna go ahead and close that out, and then you're gonna Minecraft shaders 1.12 or whatever you want. And here, so I use personally, I use CUDA shaders. So I'm gonna go to CUDA shaders, and let's see, the download's probably at the very bottom. You're just gonna scroll down until you find, yeah, the download. You're gonna download it. Just download it, and then you're gonna keep that as a zip file. Go percent app data percent. It's gonna take you here, and now in your dot Minecraft file, you should see something that says shader packs. If you don't, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna delete it. So if that's not there, you're gonna just do this new folder, and then completely lowercase all of it. Shade shader packs. Hit enter. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up your shader packs folder and get the shaders you downloaded. And you're gonna put those inside of there. And you're gonna open up your Minecraft. Hit edit profile and you make sure you're on Optifine. And you're gonna play. And then it's gonna load up. And go into full screen. Hit options, video settings, click shaders, and you should see right here the shader pack is here. 
We're gonna click on it. Hit done. And then create a new world. Shader. Test. Create the new world. And whenever you get in, you should see. It's gonna load. You should. As you can see, the clouds are there. The clouds are like that now. And there you go. There you have it. Your shaders are successfully installed. For me, while I'm recording in full screen mode, it runs at like an average of 55 frames per second, which is pretty good considering I have shaders like these on. And I personally like how glowstone looks in the dark. So, slash time. No, not slash slash. Time set zero. Oh, oops, I meant time set eighteen. And look, if you play some glowstone, just look how good that looks. Just that's just perfect. And also this adds the zoom key. That's what OptiFine does. And so there you go. That's how you get shader packs on Minecraft. Bye.